it. Working on an American Standard Air Handler. This is a 4 TEC 3F 48 4 ton. Half horsepower, 208, 230. This is blow mode is dead. It's got an electric heat strip coil for space heating. What do you think? <laughs> think she needs a new blow motor. What do you say, guys? I say we swap out this blow motor and get them up and running. All right, I'm gonna start by taking out this harness, but one-handed mic, can't do it with one hand. All right, so All right. stay tuned. I got this harness disconnected. I got the ground wire I gotta take off. This harness is disconnected. Steven will hold the phone. So I'm just gonna take out this wire there, the ground wire. All right, I'll just move to the side. I got another ground wire. Take this out. Okay, let's go for this. Take that one out. Maybe I should get a headlamp. Someone commented. What do you think, Steven? I'm gonna look like, a, like an idiot, though. No? <laughs> All right, well, I gotta send it back to Amazon. I ordered you one for Christmas, bro. We don't ruin the surprise. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. How the fuck? All right. This has got to come out, too, down here. I was thinking about maybe, uh, I was looking, maybe a clip for the glasses. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a little light, you know? Let's, uh... Let's see if they're going to slide right out. Let's see. That'd be some shit. Some fucking dust out. is not cooperative. I gotta take this bottom, this bottom thing out, it looks like. Let's see if I, I gotta, yeah. All right, All right let's start. Let's oh no, we see what the inside looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What is going on here? Guys. Oh, but look. Let's look at the other one they had there, I guess. This is better. They must have changed it. And, and it's not like there's not a box of filters they could use. Wow. Look at this. All brand new filters. Don't what forget to change your filters. Yeah. Guys. PSA. All right, so. A couple more screws down here. That's a good thing we're wearing a mask. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know, but that's cold it is. I think I'd be wearing one anyways. It ain't not that bad though. All right, now, this bar is gonna come out. Good. One more here. Why did the bow motor die, <laughs> Mr. Pipe Doctor? I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's covered in, in 10 inches of dirt. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen much, much worse. I feel bad doing it on this carpeting, but... You know what? We'll do it on a filter instead. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take, take the retaining nut out first. Right there. Yep. No, 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 take a channel lock. Oh. We'll try our luck. You know, or, you know, a crescent wrench would work too, but, you know, channel lock is easy. So unscrew this? Yes, yeah, unscrew, unscrew that. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Good. I'll take that by hand. Oh, look, it moved. <laughs> You're like, Godzilla's on the job, man. Don't get too, don't get too happy. 
All right, now we're gonna flip this thing upside down. All right, now we're gonna take out these. So we'll take good old Team Red Milwaukee. Not a sponsor of the channel, by the way. Not yet, let's be good. You have to drill that? No, I have to drill in here, don't I? Ah. All right, so I'm going to clip the wires right now. Just get that out of the way. Manhandle that thing. You know what I'm saying? Manhandle this piece. <laughs> Bow! I'll take it. People should not be allowed to mm -hmm. have equipment like this. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, that's just All right. We have our new blower motor. And when you're swapping out a blower motor, you want to make sure that the shaft, the shaft spins freely. All right. Another tech tip. Before you mount the bracket to the new one, take a picture of the sticker with your phone so you can see what wire goes where. All right? Because when you put the bracket on, this may be hidden. Mm -hmm. And the wiring may not be the same. Exactly. So that's St. Mike's tech tip of the day. I like that. You should do more of those. I should. I should also have 100,000 subscribers. Come on, people. I know, right? My 25 percenters are down to 23%. What? Yeah. I don't know. Suckers. We'll play it right now. Show you the picture. So <laughs> pause it. All right. Another tech tip is you want to make sure that the bracket, the mounting bracket, is on evenly. I just like to visually look and maybe use, I don't have to use a tape measure, but I just use sight of eye to see how much di distance is between like this line and the top of that and make sure that they're all about the same. All right, like that and like that. That one you can see is a little bit higher. I'm gonna push the bracket down a little bit. See that? It's a little friendly tech tip. And then we'll tighten this up. All right, we got the new blower motor in, fully operational. We have air movement now, and I'll be very, very blunt and honest. I know very, very little about electric heat strips. Why? Um, because I usually don't work with heat pumps and things like that, you know, like ducted heat pumps. Fujitsu's ductless, you know, ductless mini splits, yeah, no problem. But in regards to this, I'm clueless. I know it is realized I just don't have the, the proper training on it. So right now, I just want to check for amperage to see if actually it's pulling power in. Because I hear some relays opening and closing over there. And right now it's not pulling any power with one leg. It heats up for a little while. 50 amps across both legs. I'm just 
telling the people that as far as these electric heat strips, yeah. you know, I'm really clueless about it. And because I don't work on heat pumps, uh -huh. using duct heat pumps, I don't know the theory how it really works. I know it uses it uses uh, you know you know power to heat a coil like like a cooktop oven, you know, electric cooktop oven. So you know now it's off again. So we're gonna watch and see what goes on with this. comes on, see, came on again, heats up, stays running for a little bit and then turns off. So give me your thoughts you guys, what this means, why is it turning on and off? 